we know that once you resist the status quo there is a backlash from people who dislike the unavoidable shifts and transitions emulating in our society what are the biggest issues that arise in the scope of your work in what ways do you see prominent backlash to the change you are making in your communities and if we could just start at the end with the Marissa Alexander and come down the road that would be awesome question I think for myself what I've noticed is that um being I was formerly incarcerated and obviously you know that I resisted uh, what the state of Florida was trying to do um, and they would have been content with putting me away for 20 years and know um, once I won my appeal uh, through the support of all of you all sister songs survive and punish free Marissa now dream the fitness oh, I mean it was just tons of organizations and I want to say thank you first of all but being able to mobilize, and once that happened, the backlash that came with that, and I think that we will see moving forward as we mobilize for those people who are incarcerated, especially survive, um, survivors of domestic violence. Because I believe the society feels like, one, it was your fault, and two, um, oh well, so you're incarcerated, we're gonna leave you in prison. And I thank God um, that we have been able to be a part of that movement, especially MAJP and the other organizations. So um, the resistance basically is um, being able to say, hey, these are still people too, and they experienced trauma, and that trauma led to whatever action, and, and understanding that we do punish trauma, um, and especially in, in survivors. So, as we move forward in this work, it's important to, to not only resist, but help people to understand that um, there's other ways and alternatives to be able to support people who, is, who has experienced trauma, but there's also other ways in, in mitigation to be able to move them back into a position where we don't have to punish them for that trauma. And so we're gonna meet that resistance as we did with the state of Florida, for me, when they tried to give me 60 years, and here I am today. <laughs> So with resistance, I think um, the, the invisibility and the visibility harms, right? So we are vocal on environmental justice and reproductive issues um, and the continued invisibility of indigenous peoples all on those levels. And then you have the high visibility of African Americans on resistance and issues in your community. And so invisibility and, vis and visibility are two ends of that.